What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and the seed month continues today with a very exciting seed haul. Check this out. I got two sacks of seeds. These came from Survival Garden Seeds and they actually emailed me and asked if I wanted to test out their seeds this summer and I was like, sure. And then they sent me this. It's a shitload of seeds. So these, what would they, what would I call them? Survival seed packs, right? These like garden in a bag seed packs that are meant to either be stored for like an emergency or just used immediately. The bags all come in, you know, some kind of moisture proof container usually. And it's usually enough food to you know, theoretically sustain you in an emergency. It seems like these guys got together um, after the food crisis and the pandemic, all the shortages, um, and they just sort of believe in empowering people to learn how to grow their own food, to be uh, less reliant on the grocery store, especially for things that you can grow in a garden at home. So these are really cool. These are all heirloom seeds, which means they are all, why did I say that wrong? Heirloom, like an ear. They're heirloom. Heirloom open pollinated seeds. I'm sorry, I have not had nearly enough or too much coffee. I'm not sure which one it is. So there are no hybrids in here. Basically the idea obviously with a survival garden would be that if you to grow hybrids, you wouldn't be able to save the seeds from them and then have a garden again the following year. Whereas with everything in these packages, you can save the seeds. Seed saving is a whole other thing. We'll, we'll do that on a video someday because some things can cross pollinate and it's a whole, it's a whole to do. So um, let's see, which one should I open first? The big one or the small one? Let's ease in. Okay, so in this, this is the home garden packet. So this is 30 packets of seeds. And I'm gonna link everything down below. And they also um, gave me a discount code for you guys, which is 10% off. And it's three particular co collections that the coupon will work on. So they wanted me to make sure that I let you know that it is for the home garden pack, which is what we're opening now, the homesteader collection, which we will be opening next, and the farmer collection, which is the big boy, the big boy. So uh, you can use the discount code Pam's Plants, and I will put a direct link and stuff down below. Um, yeah, so they just uh, they just gave that to you guys, which is very cool. Okay, so I have always wanted to buy one of these like farm in a bag things because it just feels like a cool way to just a either start a seed collection, and you know if you don't really have a lot of seeds and you kind of want to like have that like seed library that makes you feel good, that makes you feel safe, and uh, also it's kind of fun. These are a really good way to do it. And it equals out to be about a dollar a bag of seeds, which is is pretty, pretty good. Feels like there's a decent amount of seeds in here too, so. All right, let's get this done. So I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly just cause there's, uh, we have 80 packs of seeds to look at here, but um, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what comes in these, so. And these all have pictures on the envelopes. Yay. So much less work for me, okay. So this first little bundle here, we've got champion radish. Here is a butternut squash. Got some Swiss chard. And this is an heirloom rainbow mix of tomato seeds. So this is different varieties of tomatoes. So you will get indeterminate varieties it looks like there's at least 20 seeds in here. So this is just a tomato mix. It's an heirloom rainbow mix. So this looks like kind of the way to get some different varieties out of this smaller bag of seeds. So that's cool. Kind of a mystery tomato pack. And then you have your Roma tomatoes so you can make your sauces. Got a snowball turnip. I grew turnips for the first time last year and I was confused because I forgot that I had planted them and I was like, why does this radish look so weird? <laughs> oh, this is a crimson sweet watermelon. And then we've got a black beauty zucchini. 
It's like a little uh, mix of the classics that I would expect to see and then some other stuff that I don't, I have not, I have not grown before. Okay, next bundle, we have Cylindra Beets. Cylindra? Paris Island Lettuce, which is a good one. I've grown this before. It's uh, pretty tough and it can take a lot of weather fluctuations, which is cool. Uh, this is Lola Rosa Lettuce. That's really pretty. You got a good amount of seeds in your lettuce. Like this feels like, oh yeah, there's a ton of seeds in there. So yeah, good amount of lettuce seeds. So I guess the, the idea should be to take you through an entire garden season if you were to plant everything and then you could collect seeds and go on. So that makes sense that there's a lot more lettuce seeds than there are say like tomato seeds. So we've got some flat leaf parsley. I suck at growing parsley. I'm gonna try again this year. Lacinato kale, one of my faves. Golden acre cabbage. And Anethum gravolans. Gravolans. It's dill. I, it's, that's the uh, fancy name for dill. That binomial nomenclature. And we've got arugula. We've got basil, so a large leaf variety. We've got Waltham 29 broccoli. Imperator carrots. These are the carrots that you usually see at like the grocery store, the really long, long ones. You definitely need sandy soil to grow Imperator carrots because they really have to be able to go down in the soil. Little finger carrots. You could get away with less tilled soil with those. Here's the National Pickling Cucumber and Cilantro. So I'll give you a little peek at the back of the seeds too, so you can get an idea of what those look like. Got some general information, there's instructions, and they all tell you how to save the seeds. And because they're thinking, they're thinking of everything here, we have some perennial wildflowers here. Some of these need to be cold stratified. I wish it said that on the pack, but it's okay. So you got your wildflowers and that's gonna bring in your pollinators to keep your survival garden going and productive. Here is a black beauty eggplant. So again, we got all the classic varieties. So we got heart of gold melon. We've got okra. This is uh, trickier to grow up here where I am, but this would be good for you folks in the south. I've never had okra. I would try it. Um, California wonder peppers. You got your standard bell pepper there. And then you have your spicy pepper here with a uh, jalapeno. And we've got some small sugar pumpkins. These are the good ones for baking. And then we have some spinach. So there you go. That's the home garden collection. There you go. So then you can put everything in here and it's got a little closure up here and they should stay nice and dry. And you want to keep your seeds cool. Some people freeze them or put them in the refrigerator. I haven't done that. Um, I don't really have the room in my fridge, but at some point I would like to put them in the fridge. The thing is, is you just have to make sure that you bring your seeds back to room temperature before you open the packet. Otherwise you're running the risk of getting moisture in your seeds. So that's kind of why I don't fuss with it. But if I were to buy like an extra one of these just to keep in my freezer for like emergencies, I would definitely, that's how I would go about it. Just to keep them as long as possible. Okay, so now we have the next size up. This is the Homesteader packet. So in here, there's 50 varieties. So we had 30 in the first one, 50 in this one. So let's take a look. And I did go through the seed list on the website of what came in these packets. And they actually don't really double things. There were, well, we can look and we can see what they got if there's any doubles in here. But I was impressed that they didn't really double things. So if you were like really into seed collecting, you could get multiple packets and you wouldn't necessarily have any doubles. It's just cool. Okay, so this one is not elastic. These are just stuffed in here because there is a ton of them. All right, here's a stack. All right, you guys ready? Let me get some coffee. 
So if you're wondering, yes, I will be sharing some of these seeds. I have some friends that definitely could use some seeds this year, don't have the funds for them themselves, and I will definitely be sharing the wealth with them. And stay tuned because if I can ever get to 20K, I am so close. We're doing a giveaway. And I also have another box of seeds that a friend sent me out last year. Um, she just got a whole bunch of them for a uh, charity or something and they couldn't find a place to get rid of them. So I was like, I will take them and I will redistribute that wealth. So I am dropping little bundles of those off in the little free libraries around my town. And a bunch of those are gonna go into the giveaway for you guys too. So just so many seeds. Seeds up the wazoo, happy to share. Okay, so we've got in this packet, <clears throat> got some gray zucchini. They don't look gray to me, so I'm guessing they're named after a person. We have the moon and stars watermelon. She is beauty, she is grace. We've got the purple top turnip. Large red cherry tomato. So your garden pack had a variety pack that probably had cherries in it, but not a specific pack of cherries, so getting fancier here. So we've got the red Brandywine tomato. This is your big slicer. We've got Black Knight Tatsoi. It's like a delicious green. And we've got some Swiss chard. And you'll notice it's not the same variety as in the other pack. So they did seem to take care not to double things. The Black Russian Sunflower. So that you've got your edible seeds as well as your bird and wildlife support and beauty, all important in a survival situation as well as in regular life, which is feeling increasingly like a survival situation. We have the white scallop squash. We've got this very cute little summer squash right here. And we've got a spaghetti squash, which would definitely be key for me because I love spaghetti squash. We've got the Bloomsdale spinach. Again, different variety from the other pack. And now we've got something that wasn't in the uh, previous pack, beans and cool beans. Cool beans. I'm sorry, please don't unsubscribe. I'm so close to 20K. So these are Royal Burgundy bush beans. And those are bush beans, so those ones will stay in a smaller area. So if you don't have a lot of room, go for your bush beans over your pole beans. They also finish a little sooner, usually. Okay, we got a lemon cucumber. And this beautiful kale blend. You can have a dipper gourd. You can make your own dippers. Guys, fun. Fun. We've got a snowy eggplant. Casper pumpkin. So we've got lots of fun white uh, gourds and stuff in this pack. Again, we have a pollinator mix to make sure we are taking care of our pollinators. Very important. People fight me on planting flowers because they just want to plant practical things. Flowers are practical. I will fight you. Chocolate. Pepper. Okay, here we go. Another thing that wasn't in the other pack, we have corn. And this is Japanese hullless. I don't know what that means. Each stock produces two to three ears of corn. Kernels can be popped for snowy white popcorn with almost no hull in the center. Oh. Sometimes I don't know very simple things. Okay. Oh, one of my favorites to grow. We've got the watermelon radish. Those are particularly beautiful in that picture. I've never quite gotten mine to look like that. Got some parsley. Again, different variety. We've got a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Because Halloween does not stop just because society has crumbled. And we've got some onions. White grain of onions. I'm not sure if this is a long day. Oh, this is a short day short day variety. So I'm going to um, give this to my friend down south. And then these right here are getting planted this week. These are the Walla Walla onions. I like to grow these every year. We've got some white Vienna kohlrabi. I've yet to get this to grow successfully, but I, I would really like to make it work. 
We've got some Clemson Spineless Okra. Giant Red Mustard Greens. Honey Rock Melon. Oak Leaf Lettuce. Butter Crunch Lettuce, one of my faves. And American Flag Leeks, which I will also be planting this week. We ain't done yet, baby. Oh, fun. Okay, we got soybeans. We have some cherry bell radish. I grow these very often. They are great. One of, one of the things that I recommend to people that want to grow vegetables for the first time, if they like radishes, I know a lot of people don't, but I always tell people to use cherry bells because they grow so dependably. I just love them. Another one that's getting planted soon, we've got the Utah celery. I grew celery for the first time this past season and it tastes so incredible when you like grow it yourself. I couldn't believe how different it was. It was almost like buttery and like, oh my gosh. So it was nuts. I will, I, I will never not grow celery again because it was so flavorful that I have some in the freezer and I'm still using it now and it's just as good as it was when I picked it. We have the Danvers carrot. This one's been pretty good to me too in the past. Got some black eyed peas. Not grown these before either. Some cabbage. Okay, we've got a cucumber. Got the red acre cabbage. We have Brussels sprouts. I actually looked at what is in the next pack up, the farmer's one, and it's basically what you see here, except multiple different varieties of, you know, some of the vegetables. So you'll get, you know, four kinds of tomatoes, five kinds of tomatoes, stuff like that. <clears throat> and you can look on the website if you're curious what varieties come in. I mean, I've kind of already shown you with these two packs, but if you want to look at the bigger one. That's on there too. So we've got some uh, broccoli right here. We've got a Shasta Daisy. We've got some beets. Cayenne peppers. Very, very handy. I love growing these because I've been making my own pepper flakes for years and it's just awesome. You just get to like, you know, put a little mason jar of your own pepper flakes on the table and be like, grow those. We've got some Bantam sweet corn here. There you go. So this pack not only has your popping corn, also has your eating corn. Uh-oh. I guess they're both eating corns. Your corn. Got your provider beans. I grew these for the first time this past garden season. And um, yeah, they, they go off like a rocket. There was just so many. I was picking them by the fistful and um, I couldn't eat them fast enough. We've got a little mixed pack of basil. That's pretty fun. And then, ooh, garlic chives. I don't have these. Oh my gosh, there is still more, hold on. Ooh, one more pack, what is it? It is the sugar pod pea. There you go. All right, so that is the Homesteader Packs. All right, guys, so there we go. I've gone through all of them. This is great. I think this is like such a perfect, um, you know, basics bag. This pretty much has a good size garden's worth of seeds. And then this one for me is like the sweet spot. It says your staples and it has kind of some fun stuff. And then it's got like, you know, dipper gourds, just cool things in here. I like that one. That's my favorite. So thank you again to the crew over at Survival Garden Seeds. Um, thank you for choosing me. I, I had a lot of fun going through these and I am very excited to test them out this summer. So I will be showing you guys how some of these varieties grow in my own garden as we go through the, uh, the year. So you can get an idea of how good they work. And don't forget that they gave you guys a discount down below. It's on three specific collections. So you have your home garden collection, the homesteader collection, and then the next one up, the 100 pack, which is the um, farmer collection. So I will put direct links down below to those for you guys so it's nice and easy. You can just click right through and the code is Pam's Plants. So happy growing. I will see you guys very soon. We're gonna be planting onions. We're gonna be planting leeks. We have tons of cold weather seeds to get going. I am so excited, I'm so excited. It's time, it's time. Okay, bye. <laughs>